Oh, hey, it's time for a dungeon. That one. We can try and hand that one in, but I don't have the highest hopes it will get there, but... See? Climbing, and we're climbing, and we're climbing. Good lord, how tall! Oh, we've reached high enough, and have surpassed it. Closer to uh, the other, the other right than I remembered. Oh, hi. Right, there you are. Get back, Aka. Oh, do tell me you brought me a new nacelle. It's a functioning soul if I ever saw one. This will do the trick, I'm sure of it. Auto detecting newly installed nacelle. Lip nacelle detected. Reinitializing system settings. Lip initialization complete. Welcome to Azislaw, Master Wedge, and Mr. Archon. Gilly? Truly be you? Lip the very same Master Wedge and running at optimal efficiency thanks to my very first full body overhaul in approximately five millennia. You really are too kind. Aww. Now that's my sweet little girl. Why, well, after all you did for us, it was the least we could do. Hey, I've got a favor to ask of you, Arkham. This might sound silly, but I want you to take Gilly with you on your adventures. I want her to see that there's more to our world than this etheric waste she's called home for thousands of years. Yes, I'd say our little girl's done enough guidance. From this day forward, she's an accompaniment node. And with you, she's going to go where no node has gone before. And we have acquired a minion. No, oh, we also never used that one. We have this one. We use that one. Don't really care about those. Guess we can keep trying to hand in the dungeon quests until we get into the anti tower. Yeah, you just have to sell sword out of the palace. <laughs> ah, that's a splendid lad. Oh, thanks to you for saving the town, beast. Honest. Allow me to add my thanks to his, sir. You have our gratitude on behalf of the Tonberries as well. I think they truly deserve succor. Can you imagine losing your entire being to hatred? Little wonder the Tonberries can became monsters. Neither of us are strangers to hate. Growing more spiteful with each passing day is sadly the province of those who are shunned by all around them. Yet malice will turn us all into monsters. Tonberry told me as much one day. It gave me pause to think of wandering for ages with a heart ruled by rancor. Aye, the Tonberries have known more than their fair share of hard times. So from here on out, we want to make sure that we're where they live stays a sanctuary. 
Are you done? Nope. Come back later. You took too long talking. Welcome to the Anti Tower. It's like a tower, but not. Yeah, this place is cool. Wait. How is... I need to figure out how that's done. And yeah, the tower goes downward. This whole place is trippy and fantastic. Yes, so we have Peloton. Boss one. Do I remember it? Not really. obvious AoEs. There's not really been much else to it so far. Ah. I love being turned into a frog and not being able to really do anything. Okay, so two people are turned into a frog. They return when the two ads are killed. Looks like the case. Uh, 
Either way, not super difficult. Travel down the up staircase. Logic. Next. Oh, did more spawn and not decide to get into my aggro table? Next. Why do things keep, like, appearing and not going at my aggro table? It's kind of annoying. Dead. Next. Clear where all witness.
Oh, hi. You wanna grab those and bring them in here? I can't see anything. So many lights. I hit all I hit four. Okay. Final boss. Oh god, these things. We are Calcobrina. Adorable dolls, Tilly Real dolls. Yep ho ho. squishy when they're split up. The red ones have cones, the blue ones have circle, have donuts. Dodgy, dodge, 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 dodge. And then once you kill them all, they turn into this fever dream. Um, I appear to be confused. Also, I refuse to call it a Taurus. I know that's its name. I refuse. Taurus is a car. T-A-U-R-U-S and T-O-R-U-S are pronounced extremely similarly. Do I strike you as an astrology focused person? That's me. That's how I'm described. Astrology, superstition, and luck charm. Good luck charms. Um, why did that do, like, no damage? Can you stop doing that, please?
How did the rest of stream go? You get uh, a version of lamp and piece you're happy with? And origami. How dare you? Go do your errands or whatever. Oh, someone else got the scroll. There you go. I'm happy with where I got my org my chaos origami. See pictures of it later tonight. Question mark, question mark, question mark, my butt. We know who that is. We are the word of the mother. We, who were once called Nephilia. Much time hath passed for thee since the bloody banquet. Since since I hearkened to her word. Mother, Hydalin, guided me towards Yishtola and Thancred, that I might be swept up in their flow and delivered under the ethereal sea. There, adrift and alone, her voice silent once more, I pray. For those we have lost, for those we can yet save, to her I would make an offering. We speak now with one voice, one will, one word. Unto thee we bequeath the most precious of gifts, the truth which lieth at the heart of this world. Never noticed that before. Let's see, is it going to show another one? So there's a little like shooting stars going around the background every so often. And now that I'm looking for one, the only one's been like up here. Yeah, there's one. Just one right there. Show me another one, would you? There. There they are. As they go, you can see them going through the colors of the rainbow. Never saw that before. Thus do we beseech thee once more. Hear, feel, think. Uh, I'm in Philly. Something's a little bit wrong with your eyes. Wait, hold up. Are you not coming back? Oh god, how am I going to explain this to Philomene? Yeah, your um, daughter, like, got kidnapped by 
the chief goddess of the world and is now her voice. In the depths of the ethereal sea, light and dark. That sounds sane, yep. Did once dwell as one. But the darkness coveted power and the balance was broken. Thus was I forced to banish him unto the distant heavens. To forever remain apart. Oh. A moon bound. In sundering the star did we cry out, and the barriers twixt planes chanced to falter. Across ten and three were we then divided. Oh. Reflections of the source, each possessed of a shard. Zodiac longeth to be made whole. For his restoration, for his resurrection, his servants labor without cease. They seek to tear down the barriers which surround the source. Thus do they rejoice in their ardor, in your calamities. For each marks a rejoining. Seven times have they succeeded. Seven times hath the darkness grown stronger. Seven times. I failed. The this is a really important lore dump. Suffered to continue. This. This is my final. The crystal's power is all but spent. With what remains. I will return you to the shore of the ethereal sea. Blessed children, go forth and seek. Seek. You've had another vision, haven't you? Let us return to Master Matoya's cave. Everyone will wish to hear what you saw. Sure, I understand. Voice of God, what? She's Metatron. Nor am I. Cryo? Metatron, not Megatron. Megatron would be way cooler. As unbelievable as it sounds, I see no reason to doubt her. Words tale. No one was more sensitive to the will of Hydaelyn than Menphilio. And if Hydaelyn has grown. 
grown so weak that she can barely make herself heard, it is not hard to see why Nymphilia, having joined with her, might struggle to maintain her own form. What? Why would she need to maintain her own form? Are you saying... Are you saying she's gone? A little bit. Way to go, Delphi. Got there almost all on their own. But that cannot be! Not now. Not after all we have accomplished. We were meant to wash her in the dawn's light together! She threw herself on the fire to fuel your dawn's light, boy. You'll just have to usher it in on your own. Must you be so ungentle? Yes. Tell me about the Scions, boy. The, 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 the Scions of the Seventh Dawn lay before Aeolzia's salvation. Whenever the realm is threatened, be it by Primal, Asian, Guardian, or any other, we take up arms in her defense, that all in Aeolzia may live to see a brighter tomorrow. Huh? And that's very noble of you. But in chasing after these lofty goals of yours, you seem to have lost sight of some basic truths. To win a war, you must be willing to do whatever it takes. To fight, to kill, and if necessary, to die. The path you've chosen is paved with the dead. Walk it with your eyes open, or not at all. I'm alive. I know Just coughing over you for no reason. And have from the first. If the Asians will go to any length to resurrect their god, then we must needs be as committed to our cause, to unmask them and their schemes, and to crush them both utterly. There is much to be done. Yes, of course. Thancred, wait! This is all wrong. Sorry, Alfie. thought was best. I know that. I do. I give all for her beliefs was ever her way. So will we, as we must. What greater calling could there be than to stand against the dark as defenders of the light? Where does it end? The sacrifice. The loss. I don't know if you're currently here, Basil, but I have a very important message if you are. Frog. Frog with staff. <laughs> 